Dundee United a scare. The third division side came from 3-0 down to eventually lose 4-3 to their SPL counterparts. And as Jeff Webster reports, Gretna become one of Scottish football's big boys. Gretna were finding the going tough as United's Mark Wilson put away this penalty to give them a 3-0 lead and not even 20 minutes played. And it could have been 4-0 after United were given another penalty following this rash challenge from goalkeeper David Matheson. But the goalie owed his teammates one and he pulled off the save to deny Wilson. Kenny Duker got Gretna back into the game and it looked as if they'd got a second through Gavin Skelton. But referee Charlie Richmond decided instead it was a penalty and Mark Birch did the business from the spot. There's no point in being here if there's no belief and no ambition and that's exactly what we've got. We've got enthusiasm, we've got drive and we've got a, a group of quality players and high calibre players to, to take us further. Any dreams of the fourth round that Gretna had were shattered when recent signing Stevie Crawford ran onto a long ball to lob Matheson and restore United's two-goal lead with his first goal for the club. Stevie Craw scored a great goal but missed two. We missed a penalty. James missed a, a setup. So we, we, we should have scored more goals. Uh, but I was pleased with the way they approached the game. I thought they were excellent. But even if the result went against them, Gretna can claim the goal of the night a skeleton hit home from around 30 yards. So United into the fourth round and with a visit to Queen of the South to come. But Gretna's failure can only be described as glorious. You can't buy the spirit in the team, you can't buy the atmosphere in the crowd. That's, this is what football's about. Where's this all going to end for you? This is going to end in the SPL. Simply wasn't an option for Dundee United for all sorts of reasons. And things were going swimmingly for the Premier side when Barry Robson and Mark Kerr scored early goals. Then they were awarded a penalty. Ref Charlie Richmond spotted Jamie McQuilkin's handball. And Mark Wilson calmly gave United a three-goal lead with less than 20 minutes played. But it wouldn't be done to United if they made things easy for themselves. And after Kenny Ducher pulled a goal back for Gretna, the third division leaders then reduced the deficit to 3-2 before half-time following a most peculiar incident. Ducher thought he had scored again here. The referee seemed to allow the goal and to say so to some of the Gretna players before pulling them all back for a penalty kick. Mark Birch took it well and Gretna were right back in the game. But a superbly taken goal by new boy Stevie Crawford confirmed United's superiority on the night. But they were still to endure a fairly scary last few minutes after Gavin Skelton made it 4-3 with arguably the goal of the game. United survive in the Scottish Cup, but they won't forget that windy night.